Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Guys at Magic. This is Hunter, Steven, David, and Shane. Say what up, boys. Yo, what's up? Hey, guys. What's up, nerds? We are back. This time, we are taking a look at the pre-con battle. This time, we're doing the $300 version of the decks that we upgraded from Commander Masters. Let's go around the table real quick and talk about what our commanders do. We've got the turn order, so I'll go first. I am running Commodore Guff. Commodore Guff is a Planeswalker party. So we're going to be trying to throw out a bunch of Planeswalkers and do a bunch of cool stuff with our Planeswalkers. Yeah, uh, I'm running Anakthea again, uh, trying to do more graveyard shenanigans and just have a little bit of fun. I'm playing Sliver Grave Mother. I as well will be playing with the graveyard. It's a weird way to say that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be playing Slivers. They're going to be hopefully dying. I'm going to be playing them again and hopefully winning. And I'm going to be playing Zuladoc, so hopefully we can get some uh, Eldrazi out there, play some big colorless spells. Perfect. Before we get started, hit that like button if you like this. Subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of the cool content we do. We've shuffled up. We've got our turn order. Let's go ahead and kick it off. Draw for turn. We are going to play a Interplanar Beacon and pass. All right. I will start my turn off by drawing. Huh. I think I'll just play this and off a trium. It'll come in tapped, and I too will pass. Cool. Start turn draw. Well, That's I'm gonna nice. enjoy it and do what you did. I'm gonna play a trium tapped and pass. All right. Start my turn off, and oh, you guys playing triomes? We don't have any of those. I'm gonna play a scavenger grounds and pass my turn. We're doing solid magic today, boys. <laughs> I'm gonna draw for turn, and I'm gonna play a sea of clouds because I have two or more opponents. Thank you very much. It's gonna come in untapped. I'm gonna tap for two. And we're going to play a Onaki Oathkeeper. It says creatures can't attack planeswalkers you control if the controller pays one for each creature attacking. Pass. Uh, let's go ahead and forest for turn. And let's tap that forest for a soul ring. Wow. I'm going to tap this for a green and this for two. And I'd like to Kodama's Reach. Search my library uh, for up to two basic land cards. Reveal those cards. Put one onto the battlefield tapped and the other into my hand. Then shuffle. And he's ramp. All right, with Kodama's Reach, I'm going to go ahead and put a Plains tapped onto the battlefield, and I will take this force and put it in my hand and pass over to you, Shane. Sounds good. Start turning tap. I would keep draw. I'm going to play another try, basically, untapped and pass. All right. I will start my turn. I will play a Waste, and I will pass my turn. David right. and I got the right idea. All right. You guys are playing some cool magic. I'm going to untap and draw. I'm going to go ahead and play a exotic orchard doesn't matter at this point whatever color it is i tap for three and i'm going to play a gate watch beacon comes in with three loyalty counters on it that says i can tap this for a white and also when a planeswalker comes in i can move a loyalty counter from this onto that we're gonna pass uh let's go ahead and untap a peep and draw let's tap this for a green and then i'm gonna go ahead and play a orshoff's basilica this will come in tapped and then i will bring this back to my hand and then I'm going to go ahead and tap this for a green as well. And then I'll do three more. And I'm going to go ahead and cast the Mending of Dominaria. Uh, this is a saga with three chapters. The first one says mill two cards. Then I may return a creature card from the graveyard to my hand. Uh, so we will mill a oh, Rudin Enchantress and then a Utopia Sprawl. Get him out of here. I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, Rudurin Enchantress and I'll put that in, in my hand. And that will be turn. I'll pass. Wow. <laughs> I like what you're doing, man. For, for everybody at home, I can do that again next turn if the saga stays on the field. And then uh, the third mode is return all land cards from my graveyard to the battlefield, then shuffle. Cool. All right. I will then start my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'll play a blue and one. I'm going to play Diffusion Sliver. All my slivers, uh, if you target them now, you have to pay two or that thing gets countered. So leave my slivers alone. I'm going to play a Jungle Shrine in for my land tapped because my lands are slow. And I'm going to pass. I got really worried when you played that creature without playing a land. I was like, oh my god. No, 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 no. He's we ain't doing, doing that. Alright, let's kick my turn off. I will play a waste, and I will pass my turn. <laughs> David, you're having great turns. I am actually, like, oh, given man. this deck, I think I'm doing really well right now. You are. When no one's targeting you, I have you, not you're missed fine. a land drop. Yeah. I'm going to untap draw. I'm going to play an island. We're going to tap for whatever you make over there, Steven, a black, I guess. We're going <laughs> to tap this down for two red and a white and a Another white, no, a blue and a white, and we're gonna cast my command. So, because I cast a planeswalker, I'm going to remove one of these counters, put it onto the planeswalker. Played. Commodore Guff's gonna come in. 
I'm also going to gain one life because of Interplanar Beacon. I'm going to go up to 41. And we're going to tick up Commodore Guff to 7. We're going to make a little, little token here. You're a wizard. You're a wizard, Harry. All right. Wizard Commodore Guff. <laughs> right. He's a planeswalker. He's a planeswalker. I don't think he's a wizard. He's not a wizard. Uh, yeah, that's going to be my turn. Heard. Uh, I will untap, upkeep, and draw. So after I draw here, uh, the Mending of Dominaria is going to trigger, so we'll go up to Lore Counter 2. Let's mill another two cards. We have a Underground Stadium and a Dryad of the Elysian Grove. I wonder which one's going in the hand. Yeah, perfect, dude. So I will put them both in my graveyard, and then I will go ahead and put Dryad of the Elysian Grove into my hand. You guys remember that forest from earlier? I do. I'm going to go ahead and play that forest. How do we know it's oh. the same one? What if he's bluffing? I mean, either way, it's it's a forest. I mean, he's not <laughs> wrong. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go ahead that? and tap this for a green and this for a green, and I'm going to go ahead and tap this for a white, and I'm going to play that Enchantress. Cool. Hmm. And then I'm going to go ahead and tap this for a white and a black, and this for two more, and I'm going to play a card that's pretty familiar to everybody. Let's try out okay. an amazing grove. Belladar Retreat. Oh, God. Uh, All right. I did Hunter, cast this card, let's go. and I'm going to draw a card after casting this for the enchantment. Go ahead. I was going to say, what do you mean, Stephen, by let or Shane, by let's go? Let's go what? We got to kill him. I'll join and help in four more turns. Thank you. All right. Well, before those four turns, I'm going to go ahead and pass. One turn closer, David. I'll start my turn. on tap up to draw. I'm going to play an Arid Mesa for my land for turn. Wow. Good I'm going to pay a life. Yeah, I'm going to pay a life. Crack it. Go down to 39 from the land. I'm going to tap for four. And I'm going to play Essence Sliver. Ooh, Whenever Sliver essence. deals damage, its controller gains that much life. So it's like lifelink, but cooler, I guess. I mean, it, it, it is just lifelink. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like it. It is. I'm going to move to combat, and I'm going to swing my 1-1 one, one at you, Steven. I will block with a 0-2. Cool. I'll gain a life. Go back Get to back 40. back at 40. You're not losing. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, not losing. All right, so now Hunter's I, the threat. <laughs> and I pass my turn, David. Um, on your instep, Shane. Yeah. Oh. I'm going to tap for three, and I will flash in a Liberator oh, versus a Battle Thopter. Shit. I remember We're doing things. Time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's good. I like that. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I like cool. that, too. Start my turn. I'm going to play a Homeward Path. I'm going to pass my turn. Well, I'm afraid, because now your stuff has flash. Yeah, I'm going to untap draw. He's a mono. Or a no Ever color. play Spectator CD? David is a liar, by the way. David said, couldn't do anything till turn six. Here we are. <laughs> Look, okay? I can't help my draws. I'm going to be honest. I'm in trouble. So we're going to go. We are going to use the minus three ability to draw one card. Holy <laughs> shit, dude. Sounds good to me, dude. I have to slow Steven down a little bit. So I'm going to tap for four. And we're going to play a silent uh, arbiter. He's a one five that says no more than one creature can attack each combat. And no more than one creature can block each combat. Oh, I don't... no. I feel that like that stops so me fortunate. from it. Yeah, I can't attack him now with more than one. Yeah, that actually. Why did you do that? Shame. You just like saved him. You thwarted my plans. Ah. Oh. We are just doing stuff slowly. Uh -huh. That means I can only block with Liberator though, so like that definitely sets me back. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be the end of my turn. All right. Uh, on top of people, draw. Uh, let's go ahead and resolve the third trigger on. The Many of Dominaria. Uh, return all land cards from my graveyard to the battlefield, then shuffle my graveyard into my library. <laughs> okay. Uh, so Undergrowth Stadium, I do believe, is my only land. So then I will go ahead and put these in here, and then I will shuffle my library. Perfect. Uh, Undergrowth Stadium will come onto the battlefield. Uh, it, I do have two or more opponents, so it'll come in regular. Uh, this will trigger Felidar Guardi or Felidar Retreat. I'm sorry. I will go ahead and make a kitty cat. All right, uh, let's go ahead and kick off the turn. I'm going to go and play a Canopy Vista as land for turn. We're going to make a kitty cat. Another one. Another one. Meow. Uh, and let's do some stuff. Why don't we? Uh, I really like my cats. So I'm <laughs> going to go ahead and play or tap this for a green, this for a whatever. And I'm going to play a Farseek. Search my library for a plains, island, or swamp, or mountain. Put it onto the battlefield tapped. So are you going to make another library. cat or are you going to make them bigger? You have no idea what I'm going to do, buddy. I don't. That's why I'm asking. Uh, it's going to have something to do with cats, though. Yeah. I'm going to grab yeah, the yeah, yeah. swamp. I think, I think you're right there, Dave. I'm doing and the math. You know what? I can only block with math one creature cats. each turn, so I might as well, on this trigger, put a plus one on everything. Whoa. Uh-oh. And then, and then, 
Um, yeah, you have nothing in your graveyard. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I have the the mending, but uh, uh, yeah, okay, all right, you're right. I forgot you do. I think let's do this, boys. Uh, let's go ahead and tap for a black and a white and two more, so that's four. And then you know, let's let's just make it an even five. And then we'll go ahead and cast the Eldest Reborn. Um, I will testing. respond yeah. to you casting that. I was that. testing you on this. I was really hoping you yeah, didn't have anything. <laughs> Uh, I gotta pay four. One, two, three, and four. And I will flash in a Thran Dynamo. Yep. Upon that's... resolution of the Thran Dynamo, I will tap that for three and flash in a Burnished Heart. That only saves heart. you. The poor elk is gonna die. Bambi, going to the slaughter. Uh, but yes, yeah, so if uh, nobody else has any responses, uh, Eldest Reborn will hit the field and each opponent has to sacrifice a creature. And Hunter, if you're feeling frisky, a Planeswalker. Um, real quick, by the way, for the Thran Dynamo and the Burnish Chart, forgot to mention this, but those put a plus one, plus one counter each on the Liberator, so it'll go up by, what is this, two? Before this enters, I did cast it, so I will draw for the uh, Enchantress. So I will draw for turn. Uh, and that will be that. And then resolve Eldest Reborn. I'm going to sacrifice Essence Sliver. Interesting. We were going to say that regardless. Of what David, it's really unfortunate you're going to sacrifice the Urza's Battle Thopter. You know what? I was thinking about it, but it's not going to be that. That Burnish Chart. Like, Bambi was meant to go to the graveyard. It's an elk, it's Dave. It's not expect. a deer. <laughs> Doesn't matter. I'm getting rid of my wizard token. I'm shocked by that one. Why? I have enough mana to cast it. I'm playing. Uh, so I'm going to move to combat now. And I don't think it's fair that Shane gained that life. So I'm going to take it back. That's and fine. I'm going to swing at you at the Enchantress for one damage. I'll take Ooh. one, going to 39. Losing. And I'm going to pass turn. I'll start my turn by untapping, upkeeping, and drawing. I'm gonna play this uh, stupid land that comes in tapped. Since I control two or more basics, I don't. So it's gonna be tapped. I'm gonna tap for four again. So a blue and three. And we're gonna play Taunting Sliver. Slivers you control have. When this creature enters the battlefield, go target creature and opponent controls. So I'm gonna start goading your stuff so that trigger will be on the stack. Any responses to that trigger? I'm gonna goad Verdant Enchantress from Steven. So whoever he attacks, guys, block it and kill it. I pass to you, David. Cool. Start my turn. I'm gonna play a waste. Sounds like a waste. It was. Not, not uh, that was my one. turn. I pass. I'm gonna yeah. untap draw. Oh my god. We are gonna play a land for turn. We're gonna minus Commodore Guff. <laughs> Once again, he's going down to one. I'm gonna draw one card, and I'm still gonna get sad. We are going to go ahead and tap for one, two, and three. And we're gonna play a flux channeler. Whenever I cast a non-creature spell, I can proliferate. We're going to tap for a white three, and we're going to play a Oath of Gideon. I'm going to proliferate. This is going to tick up Commodore Guff, and I'm going to get another loyalty counter on the Gatewap Beacon. Uh, Oath of Gideon is going to come in and make two 1-1 one, one white core ally tokens. So I got two tokens. Uh, each Planeswalker you control enters the battlefield with an additional loyalty counter, says Oath of Gideon. We are going to pass my turn. Hunter... I'm kind of confused. Could you please help me out with something? Sure. I'm just trying to figure out where the party is. You know, <laughs> the planeswalkers are late to the party. They're showing up fashionably. fashionably yeah. Late. Yeah. Okay. That's what I right. thought. That's what I thought. Fair, it's a fair really enough. cool fair enough. party, so you don't want to be too early. Okay. That's fair. Uh, I will untap, upkeep, and draw. Trigger two. Eldritch Reborn. Uh, if all my opponents could kindly discard a card. I am going to discard a land. I, too, will discard a land. You also have made me discard a land treasure vault. It's unfortunate. You guys didn't want to put any creatures in there? That requires I have some. I was going to say, uh, <laughs> fun fact, <laughs> lands. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, guys. Let's go ahead and start having a little bit more fun. Let's put this over here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play a command tower as land for turn. Uh, I would like to give everything plus one. Plus one and uh, vigilance. Fun enough. Uh, I should have have tapped my enchantress last turn. Uh, I would then like to tap for a green and two, and I'd like to play that dryad that we saw earlier uh, on cast. It is an enchantment, so I will draw a card. Uh, this will come onto the field. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play my second land for turn. Uh, let's go ahead and play a swamp uh, trigger. Let's add a plus one onto all of my things. I'd like to now tap for a green and a white, and I'm going to cast Sithis, Harvest Ham. Uh, funny enough, Sithis is an enchantment, so I'm going to draw for the enchantress. It's not funny at all. He's got some stuff going hey, on here. Does anybody have a uh, like a board wipe and everybody just card their hand card wrapped all into one? A board wipe, eh? Uh, maybe? No, I don't. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and also now 
uh, tap for a, a green, a black, and a white, and then one. And I'd like to cast Binding the Old Gods. I know what that's coming after. It's going to be really bad, boys. Uh, I think on this trigger, I'd like to destroy a target non-land permanent and opponent controls. What are you hovering over there, bud? The thing I know you're going to kill. I don't know if I want to kill it, though. It's actually kind of fun, because here's the thing. I know you have the most board wipes in your deck, and that is basically keeping you from swinging a bunch of shit and then all of us, too. So do I want to get rid of that, or do I want to keep it? Uh, what I would like to do, actually, believe it or not, is I don't like people having flash. Yeah, I saw this one coming. <laughs> so I would like to target the Urza's Battle Thopter. On target, I'm sure somebody might have a response. I will respond. Uh, I will tap for three, and I will flash in a Palladium Mirror. Cool. Herp. And then uh, Liberator will die. Herp, uh, and then also on cast, I do apologize. I will draw two and gain one life. One draw will be for the Enchantress. The other will be for the Sippus. So draw two, <clears throat> and then I will go ahead and gain one life. That will put me at 41. Let's go ahead and tap for a green, and then one. Let's, I mean, fuck it, you know what I mean? Uh, let's play the Composer of Spring. He is going so wide right now. Uh, let us move to attacks. I can only attack with one creature, and one creature is forced to attack. True. Let's go so here. there's no point in attacking Hunter. You have to pay for one if you attack. I mean, I can pay it. It's not really... I mean, you just have chump blockers for days, dude. Um, I am going to go ahead and swing this three to... I guess actually, sorry, three, five over at David. Yep. Uh, no blocks. I will go from 40 to 37. I think it has vigilance uh, still, right? It does have vigilance. Thank you for reminding me. And then I'm going to add a counter here. All right, we're on chapter two there, chapter one there. And boys, that's it. Past turn. It's quite the turn. That's it, huh? Yeah. I need to draw my board wipe yesterday. For I'll start turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Guys, I didn't draw the board wipe. It's really unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. I'm not gonna lie, I normally wouldn't mind a board wipe in this style deck, but David played a turn one land that really fucks me, so. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did actually drop that scavenging grounds on purpose to see if it would stifle you and like mess with your play pattern. I'm gonna tap for two. Play a fell war stone. Mm -hmm. Tap for a black and white and another one. Play a necrotic sliver. I have a trigger from taunting sliver, so this guy is also gonna enter and goad something. I'm gonna goad your Sithis, Steven, my boy. My slivers now have. I can pay three, sacrifice this permanent, destroy target permanent. So. Guys, I'll try, but it's got to survive a round. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna, mm, I'm just gonna go for it too. We're doing, we're doing crazy things. I'm gonna tap my Felwar Stone for a red because of Hunter at the moment, and I'm gonna play one more Sliver, Striking Sliver. Slivers you control have first strike, and I get to goad again at something, but I don't think it matters. Hunter, I'm gonna goad your uh, Flux Channeler. That's really rude. I thought you were gonna go to my mana dork just to be nice, because like I'm just gonna probably fucking tap it down. <laughs> nope, I'm not gonna be my nice. I'll move into combat. I really only want to attack Steven, but don't think that's smart at the moment. And so I'm gonna awkwardly be the sliver guy that passes and not attacks. I, I don't want to attack that. you boys. Yeah, exactly. All right, I need you guys around. Hey, that's a pretty good card. I'm gonna play a Rogue's Passage. Good card. <laughs> tap the Rogue's Passage. Let's play a Soul Ring. Hey. A little top deck. Jesus Christ, lands. <sighs> All right, he's got mana. Good luck, guys. Um, I'm gonna do everything I can this game. I can barely afford my removal spell. So just keep in mind, I did it for you guys, okay? Okay. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. I will cast an Ulamog, the Infinite Gyre. Oh, That's your that is, removal spell? That's removal yeah. spell. Uh, okay. Whenever I cast it, destroy target permanent. I will choose the Felidar Retreat. Thank you. Okay, Felidar Retreat is destroyed. Cool, and that's my turn. I mean, he will get it back on his turn for a little bit, so. I mean, it gives his commander a target now, so yeah. That's, yeah. Oh, Dap Draw, play a land. We're gonna uptick Commodore Guff, and we're gonna make Hey. Token. Now, with all these amazing tokens, I'm gonna get rid of everything. I like that. What? Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry, Dave, your Annihilate is terrifying. You know what? It's really not, though, because it was never gonna swing at you. What if I could get rid of the Annihilator? I'm going to No, go don't ahead. listen to him. Fucking kill it all. <laughs> I'm, I'm Sunfalling. That's exile all creatures. Dude, you're the most annoying person on the planet. The Flush exile Channel is what's going to kill me. to trigger because it's a non. So I'm going to get a trigger here and a trigger here. And everything has been exiled. Keep in mind how many cards I'm exiling. Like better token has 18 counters on it. Hunter, I'm not having a good game, guys. Dude, I have cast like two things this game. 
That's a pretty good incubator token. All right. That's it. That's my turn. All right. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Creatures in Graveyard? I, really, it's just the Battle Thopter at this point, and then Shane's Sliver. Let's grab that Sliver, Shane. I think that's going to be the best. Let's go ahead and have some fun. Let's go ahead and play a Forest as Land for turn, and I'm curious to see what Hunter does here. I would like to, A, let's do a black and a white, a green, and then one and two, and I'd like to cast Anakthea. Uh, I would like to go ahead and grab the Eldest Reborn. And I would like opponents to sacrifice a creature or planeswalker. Oh no, I've sacrificed nothing. Commodore Guff, gone. Perfect. Gone. Awesome. This is going to be a 3 3. Uh, David, sacrifice something. Oh, wait. I don't have any of those. I know. Play. I like yeah, I didn't know if you'd get. I didn't know if you'd make your incubator a creature and. And sack my 18 18? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going to die eventually anyway. I need to yeah, search for a Guff's forest. Goes... Yeah. Oh, green, green, and then one. Two, three, four, five, and six. A Sandworm Convergence. Uh, creatures with flying can't attack me or Planeswalkers I control. Sorry, Hunter, I don't have any Planeswalkers, I don't think. Uh, and then at the beginning of my end step, create a 5-5 five, five Green Worm Creature Token. It's going to get annoying. So I'm going to go ahead and move to my end step because I cannot attack with anything I have. And I'm going to go ahead and make a worm. A worm. And <laughs> I will go ahead and pass the turn there, boys. Okay, start turn, untap, up, keep, draw. I'll play a very slow, bad fetch land in that. <laughs> um, I'll tap Wooberg, blue, black, green, white, red. Yay. I'm just going to play a Grave Mother, and I'm going to pass. All right, kick my turn out. I'm going to draw a card. So three, <laughs> four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and I will cast a Void Winner. Ooh, is that the one where you can't cast even spells? Yeah. Cool. Can't cast even, can't block with even creatures. Interesting. Yeah, that was my top deck, and I really just kind of don't want to discard it to the Elder Eldest Reborn, so. You have zero cards in here right now? Oh, no, I, I told you. Yeah, I'm playing top deck mode. Holy shit. Yeah, I'm I'm, I'm fortunate that I got this creature, but, like, I'm actually really not in this game. I passed my turn. Uh, on your end step. Oh, now it's dead. Time for two. <laughs> yeah, we're going to flip. Yeah, David, you're not the problem. You're fine, dude. Uh, I'm going to untap draw. Land for turn, because that's all we have. Uh, David, you're annoying with your little Void Winnower. I can't cast anything. I'm sorry. That is I would rather Steven not get it, so I played it. I'm swinging That's an 18-18 18, 18 at Steven. Steven, you can't block with even creatures. Cool. I will block with the Eldest Reborn. Um, response to blocks. Oh, okay. Oh, God. I'm going to tap Homeward Path so that Shane gains control of his sliver again. <laughs> Dude, thanks, David. Love you, Shane. I'm actually excited about that one. <laughs> Whoa. That's pretty cool. That's the end of my turn. That's all I can do. All right, well, let's go ahead and move to my turn. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Uh, yeah, sorry. So binding will trigger uh, all creatures I control get death touch until end of turn. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and tap for a white, and I'm going to cast Pool from Eternity. I'm going to put oh, target face-up card that's removed from the game into its owner's graveyard. Uh, Eldritch Reborn will be my target. Fun. Uh, I would like to move to combat, and I would like to swing Anakthea over at... Yeah, let's just swing over at Hunter. Uh, so, uh, Menace. Doesn't matter. Four, four. Nothing to block. <laughs> uh, on attack trigger, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, since Eldritch Reborn is now in my graveyard, I'm going to go ahead and bring it back with Anakthea. So, on this entering the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. There Shane. goes my 18 18. What? Love you, dude. <laughs> what? Oh, nothing. I gave you sacrifice. Fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. I'm going to yeah, sacrifice gone. Essence Sliver. So, I'm taking four. Going down to 37, and that is I four from your commander. Uh, let's go ahead and really pay did. for a white, a black. That's five, so we need one, two, three more. Uh, let's play a Starfield of Nyx. At the beginning of my upkeep, I may return a target enchantment card from a graveyard to the battlefield, and if I control five or more enchantments, each other non-aura enchantment, I control as a creature in addition to its types. Currently, I have cool. one, two, three, four. <laughs> uh, and then we'll go green and then one let's play a sanctum weaver uh i don't know if i played a land for turn i have enough really i don't think it matters uh i'll go ahead and pass there at my end step we make a worm big worm i'll start my turn i'll untap i'll upkeep and i'll draw i'm gonna play secluded courtyard i'm gonna name a creature type i'm gonna name slivers Shocker. Good, good, call. good call good call yeah sure you don't want to name up. elder dragon nah nah I'm gonna tap for three 
and I'm gonna play a convergence know, of, of dom dominion. My encore spells cost two less now. That's cool. What's up, nerds? I'm sitting here editing right now, and I realized that I never actually cracked my fetch right there. It doesn't really change anything in the game. I'll realize I didn't crack it in a little bit, but you'll see me tap it a couple times. It's gonna just be a basic land. I'm just dumb. Oops. So let's do that. Oh, I'm gonna pay boy. for two, and I'm gonna encore the essence liver. Yay. Dude, we're all like above 35 life, dude. Not for long. Um, so I'll move to combat. And you know, guys, I really am trying to hurt Steven, but he's got the, the damn five fives. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna declare each one of these has to come at you, or each one of you, right? So mm -hmm. one of these is at everybody. Dude, you're gonna gain so much life. And then I'm gonna send my commander at Steven. What? All right, well, I have no blocks. Uh, I have no blocks as well. I will take, what is it, three? Three. Oh, now to 34. Same. Uh, I will declare two blockers in front of Sliver Grave Mother. That's it? And I I mean, probably, yeah. Okay. So, how much life did this gain? Three, gain six, nine. nine. No, he gains way ten. more than that. Essence Sliver says whenever a Sliver deals damage, its controller gains that much life. So you'll gain 18 from your commander, and you'll gain nine from each of your other Slivers. Wait, what? It's not lifelink. It says whenever a sliver deals damage, its controller gains that much life. He's got three of those in play, three of those abilities. So he'll gain three per... He'll, he'll gain nine life nine, for each essence sliver, 18, and he'll gain 18 life. Because of essence sliver, I'm going to gain 45 life off of all that, and I'm going to let my grave mother go to the grave. I wonder so if I she has go. an encore or something. Uh, uh, yeah, no, is right? there a certain... You can only kill one worm, right? Uh, Six. Yeah, I'll just kill one of your worms. Kill the one that, that has that does not have summoning sickness. He kept that around for a reason. Uh yes, I will take three. Sorry. So I will take three going down to thirty-eight. I'm at eighty-four now, boys. It's quite a bit of life. <laughs> I still I still died at twenty-one commanders, so there's that. Huh. Okay, I will move to my end and all these things. Oh bye bye. That's my turn. Alright, let's see what we draw. Draw a card. That's actually pretty good. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Um, I will play a Darksteel Monolith. Mm. It has Indestructible and says once each turn, I may pay zero rather than pay the mana cost of a colorless spell from my I mean, hand. There you go. That's helped him with the commander a little bit if you draw a creature. I mean, potentially, yeah, but yeah. All right, pass my turn. Uh, I'm going to untap. Wait a minute. I'm already untapped. I'm just going to draw. Hunter, I took care of it so you could cast your commander. Play land for turn. <sighs> tap for one, two, three, four, five, and six. Play Commodore Guff. He enters with two more counters. I'm going to lose one from good old Gatewatch Beacon. I'm going to gain one life because I played a, a Planeswalker. So I'm going to go up to 35. We're going to we're gonna minus three Commodore Guff. Jesus Christ. To draw one card. Draw another. This is a great showing for three of these decks. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting so unlucky. I'm going to tap for two, and I'm going to play a Thrumming Bird. Cool. And I'm going to pass. Thrumbarella. So untap, upkeep, Starfield the Nyx is going to trigger. At the beginning of my upkeep, I may return target enchantment card from my graveyard to the battlefield. Responding to the target there, David? Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and pay two. I will tap sack, scavenger grounds. Everybody exile your graveyards. N D David! <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't let him get his loop going again. Uh, well, Next, uh, okay. I'm going to move my grave mother back to the command zone. All right. Uh, I will go ahead and then draw for turn. Uh, on drawing, I'm now moving here. Uh, Elders Reborn will trigger. Each opponent uh, discards a card. No. I have no cards in hand. <laughs> David has no... You have no cards in hand, Jim? Nope. I will discard a land. Jesus Christ, boys. This game. Yeah, I'm literally doing nothing, dude. I'm down to one card in hand. Guess what this? Land. kind of hoping to land. 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 Soon, so land. Uh, Let's go ahead and tap the Sanctum Weaver for one, two, three, four, five. Let's do five green. And then we will tap for one white. I'll have one green floating. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast a Miari's way. Mirari? Miami. Mirari, whatever. One, two, three, four, you five. You land, huh? Uh, so now that I have one, two, three, four, five enchantments, uh, Starfield the Nyx is going to activate a little bit more. As long as I control five or more uh, enchantments, each other non-aura enchantment I control is a creature in addition to its other types and has base power and base toughness equal to its mana value. A lot of damage. <laughs> a lot of damage. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and play a Swamp for turn. Good One thing card you just got though. 84 life chain. 
I yeah, I still like I still died at twenty one commander then. I love it so much that Hunter's over there gonna rub it in his face and Steve's gonna full tilt at me. Uh, or this cannot Hunter. attack because it just entered the battlefield. This can attack. Uh, I am going to send. Hunter's got a lot of board wipes and he's drawing at least one card <laughs> per turn. Everybody's drawing at least one card per turn, Steven. Yeah, but he can draw an extra one. Yeah, it's true. Hunter, it's true. Man, it's Hunter's true. a big time problem, huh? He's an big issue, dude. Big time problem. Hunter, do the thing. Do, do the thing, Hunter. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> uh, Hunter, I'm going to go ahead and swing. What's uh? What's your it's four, right, birds four. four. Yeah. I'm gonna swing uh, Anakthea at Commander Guff, and then I'm going to swing the rest over at Shane. Uh, Let's 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 do a little bit more. Let's do five, six, seven, eight at chain, and then eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen over at David. Commodore Guff is dead. Uh, I, I'm down to seventy six. I take my thirteen. I'm two twenty one. Uh, and I cannot trigger anything off Anakthea, um, but I will move to end step and I will make a one. A worm. Big worm. Hunter, were you not able to block with your coming bird? Menace. Yes, menace. Oh, machates, dude. Menace. No, machate. I mean, there's, just, there's not even a T in there, man. Start, start, third. Untap, upkeep, draw. Whoa. It's board wipe. I will tap for a white and another one. And I'm just going to play a, a new sliver, dude. Also, just get plus one, plus one. Whoa, guys. It's a two, two now. It's All right, a two. Like, you're over here showing what? off the fact that you have creatures in play? Yeah, Gosh. it's crazy. Uh, it's crazy, dude. I, and I'm back to having zero cards in hand. And uh, life's great. I pass. <laughs> cool. Stare my turn. Let's do it. Let's get him in play. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, let's keep that one up. You don't get six. to play it for free? Uh, no, no. Darkstone Monolith only counts from hand. Oh, that's gotcha. really cool. It's so cool. Uh, I'm going to cast Zuladoc, dude. We got our commander in play. Let's do it. Let's do this. Yeah, uh, I'm going to drop in a Nugan for free. Cool. That's a good drop. Hey, for free, dude? That's pretty cool. That is from my hand. That was actually a fucking clutch-ass top deck. Uh, Zulodoc, he costs just gonna eight. Trigger. So yeah, Zulodoc will trigger. We'll cascade into a Hedron Archive. Ooh, and it. a Thought Not Seer. Pretty solid. All right, so we're going to do this. Uh, David, if I Seer's... don't kill you first. <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to make it deals with you now, David. He just uh, hit you for you, how dude. much? A lot. At like half my life. Uh, we're going to do this. Thought Not Seer, Steven. I love you, dude, but uh, that's going to target you. It says whenever it enters the battlefield, target opponent reveals his or her hand. I choose a non-line card from it and exile it. And then whenever this card leaves, I can have target opponent draw a card. David, so Steven, uh, you I'm going to reveal you the forest and I'm going to put it back in my hand. I'm disappointed in you. I'm disappointed in myself. What's the most expensive thing you have, Steven? Eight. You have something that costs eight mana? Yes, it is the Sam Warren Convergence. You just cut Kill out. It. I couldn't hear you. <laughs> it it would be for eight. I don't think you can because you have to. I can't. What's the next biggest thing you got? Uh, f five, five. Cool. Oh well, technically, uh, yeah, five. All right. Well, we're gonna go ahead and take Ugin down by five. Um, exile each non-land permanent that has at least one or more colors that is five mana or less. Bro, I am in, in such big love entire... of exiles. <laughs> there goes one. There goes, there goes my egg sliver again in exile. Bye, sliver. Bye. Bye, guys. Hope you find your oh, dad. Slayer. All right, I'm done. That was my turn. Untap draw, and I'm going to see a land. <laughs> you can cast your commander with that land. This land is your land. Yeah, this land is my land. I think I just cast for how much? Eight? Yeah. Oh, my God. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Tap for eight. We're going to play Commodore Guff. We're going to tick him up just to make a wizard to protect him a little bit, even though it's not going to do anything. And we're going to pass. Uh, untap up, you draw. Um, let's go ahead and black. So let's do like this. Let's do green, black, white, and then one, two, three, four. So two extra for commander, and then one and two. Cast Anakthea, and we'll go ahead and not target anything. <laughs> Play this forest for turn, because David saw that. No, uh, and it. that will be it. Uh, Sandworm Convergence is over here, and we're going to pass turn. I'm going to make a worm. Big worm. Oh, hey, Steven, at the end of your turn, bud, I'm going to tap for three, and I'm going to tap this, and I'm just going to mill three. I think I saw what, are you, a what, are you, there. what are you milling, bud? There or was it. You saw a sliver, dude. Yeah. I seen a sliver in there. Ah, saw the sun. All right. Start turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'll tap four. Three. Three? 
play Harold's Horn. Ooh. I'm gonna name a creature type, but I'm gonna name Sliver again. Creatures of the chosen type cost one less to cast, and then I get to look at the, my library. Blah 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 blah. Oh. Well, yeah. Real quick for video sake, I can't blend life. Still can't play anything, so I guess I'll pass. On your instep. Yep. Mm. I'm gonna tap one, two, and tap the Hedron Archive to sack it and draw two cards. Cool. All right, start my turn. Okay. I'm gonna pay for two, and I will play an Eye of Vecna. It says whenever he enters a battlefield, I can draw a card and lose two life. We're gonna do that. I'm gonna go down to 19 to draw a card. Is that a good draw? Is it good? Yes. Is it helpful in this circumstance? Absolutely not. Great. Mm. All right. I will do my free thing per turn, and I will drop in a Forsaken Monument. Um, colorless creatures I control get plus two, plus two. Whenever I tap a permanent for a colorless, I add an additional colorless, and whenever I cast a colorless spell, I gain two life. It's a lot of words. It's a good card. Yeah. Uh, I will play an Urza Saga for land for turn. Ooh. So it'll come in with one counter. Let's do this. I'm going to tap Grand Dynamo for four, and then I'll tap Rogue's Passage to make my commander unblockable. Nice. Go to combat, and I will swing Zuladoc at Steven. I will take it seven. Uh, it's got plus two, plus two. Nine. It's like nine, six. I'll take nine, going down to 29 and taking nine commander damage. We're going to do something really fun, super awkward here, and we're going to see how this works out because Steven's going to have to kill Ugin anyways. We're going to minus Ugin by one. <laughs> Exile each non-land permanent with mana value or one or less that has at least one color. Wow. There goes my wizard. There goes my worm. Killed two creatures. We did it. We, we got all of our <laughs> things. Um, I passed my turn. I'm going to untap draw. Untap for one, two, three, four, and five. And we're going to play Teferi, Hero of Dominaria. Oh, God, that's not good for me. We're going to plus him. We're going to draw a card. <laughs> Thank God. And we're going to play a land tapped. Uh, on Teferi's cast by the way i do gain a life so i'm at 37 now uh, i'm just not even gonna protect him i'm gonna minus three to draw two cards we are gonna tap for two doesn't matter what two we're gonna play a, a boro signet nice yeah that's the end of my turn <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. your, your command your commander does the thing yeah i know on my end step i get to untap two lands so let's go ahead oh and guff does something dude. don't forget guff does add a counter on to fairy thanks shane that Teferi ults at 8, right? He does ult at 8. That's the Teferi that uh, made everybody target you last time. Yeah. Yeah. That's exactly right. A 3v1 for no reason. All right, cool. Oh, there, oh, there was definitely a reason. <laughs> there was definitely a reason. <laughs> After Christ. he was gone, he was just like, still kill him. I mean, just finish you off. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want a fucking limp horse walking around. Finish him. All right. Uh, untap up, keep draw. Let's go ahead and tap for two green. Oh, there's four fours here. Holy shit. Two green and two. Let's cast an abundance. Uh, let's go ahead and, I mean, do I just take David down as far as possible because he's just going to continue to swing at me and next That's turn... That's not true. Thunder's got a Planeswalker in play that needs to die, so I'm probably going to swing in that direction. That's not <laughs> true, Dave. Come on. I mean, I cannot have Teferi get that big, and he's one off from ulting right now. Two off from ulting right now. I mean, I mean, shit, dude. I'm still at nine commander damage from your dude. I'm going to go ahead and swing Anakthea at you, David, uh, for four. Not even uh, All right. No. Um, I can't block him, so I will take four. You've got me down to 15 and four commander. Uh, I will tap for a white. One and two and three. I'll cast a teleportation circle. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move to my end step. I'm going to trigger teleportation circle to exile Anakthea and bring her back. Untapped. And then I'm going to make a worm. Wow. A worm. This would, be, <laughs> this would be really good with cards in my graveyard. It really would be. You should put cards in your graveyard, dude. Have you thought about that? I have thought about it a few times. I believe it's Shane. Uh, Shane, go, buddy. At the end of your turn, Steven, I'm going to tap a three again. Tap this, and I'm going to mill three more. Just exile them, dude. That's the only thing we've been doing this game. No. <laughs> Untap, I'll keep a draw, and then I'll show if it's a card for Herald Horn. It is. It's a sliver. I put it in my hand. Draw a card. Okay, okay, okay. Can we do stuff yet? I hope not. At this I point, don't think I'm still Steven's trying to do stuff. Anymore. David, what'd you say? I actually don't think you're the threat anymore. Hey, you still mega worms, dude. Yeah, but you got planeswalkers in play now, and Shane has a million lives. <laughs> I feel and a ton of mana, brother. Plus, he's I feel like I'm so base. far behind. I'm only drawing lands. I think I think Steven might be actually like in last right now. I mean, you're not wrong, dude. The the graveyard deck, it's fucking just it, the steam is gone, dude. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna tap for five. Thanks to Harold's horn, my slivers cost one less. Did this man just say last. Mm -hmm. Yes, he did say last. I'm going to play Constricting Sliver. Sliver creatures you control have when this creature enters the battlefield. You may exile target creature and opponent controls until this creature leaves the battlefield. I'm going to exile your worm. 
Steven. I'm just uh, trying to kill Dave. It's gone forever. <laughs> Get that worm out of here. Shane and I are homies, man. I keep giving him things and trying to help him out. Yeah. And, like, God, slivers, hey, that. slivers and Eldrazi's, we're like homies. Yeah, dude. This is the part where my plane's where my commander dies anyways. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I will tap for a red and a white. And thanks to the Hyald's Horn, it costs one less. So I'll play Lava Belly Sliver. It's one of my belly. favorites, dude. I love that card. Uh, it says Sliver creatures you control have when this creature enters the battlefield. It deals one damage to target player or planeswalker. I gain a life. Oh, but first I'll have it. <laughs> I'll have it exile a creature because from constricting. So we're gonna exile Anicthea. I have nothing in my graveyard, and it's don't a four care. Four Venice. Don't care. It, it will come back when uh, Lava Belly leaves, if you'd like. I'm just putting it in the command zone. I have okay. plenty of mana. Okay. Uh, Lava Belly will do one damage to. Hmm. I could do a Planeswalker. I'm gonna do it to the fairy. <laughs> cool. And I'm I love you, life. dude. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I mean, I honestly, at these two seven, just seven. fucking teamed up hard as fuck. Dude. Because now there's no point in David swinging at the fucking Teferi. What are you talking about? Sure there was no point in the beginning. One. Have you seen Teferi ult? I did. In the 100. Yeah, I did too. It was scary. <laughs> uh, with that, I will pass my turn to David. I'm just trying to draw cards that aren't my hands. Teferi's like the guy that's doing it. Um, I'm going to go to untap, and then I'm going to go to upkeep. But at the beginning of my upkeep, I'm going to pay two mana, two life to draw a card for the eye back now. You're getting awful low there, buddy. So I'm going to draw a card off that and drop down to 13. Must All right, run. David, I'm just going to try and kill Shane at this point. I'm, I'm so upset. And I'm here for it. I'm here for it, dude. I'm here for it. Let's do... <laughs> oh, uh, Ursa Saga is now at two. Let's do this. Uh, I'm going to cast my free spell for the turn. Let's drop in a flare of loyalties. That's a good Dude. Yo, I'm super loyal, dude. <laughs> it is. Uh, Shane, you're going to get it back, dude, I promise. But, like, you're the only person with creatures, so I have to borrow something of yours for a turn. Okay. What? Uh, okay. Um, uh, the, the mono white one. So, yeah, this says, uh, whenever I cast a spell, I gain control of target creature until end of turn. Untap that creature. It gains haste, becomes a 10-10, has Annihilator 2, and Trample. Jesus fucking Christ. Is it um, entering the battlefield again? Well, no. No. Also, oh, okay. also, I'm going to Cascade twice for Zuladoc. My man. So we're going to do this. Uh, that's a whiff. Wow, that's not great. That's a hit. That's a hit. That is so unfortunate. That costs <laughs> one more. Oh. That's a hit. All right, so bottom of the library. Don't forget that lamp back there, yeah. Bottom of the library. So we got a Lightning Greaves, and we got an Inbringer, which will come in. That's kind of cool. <laughs> what is the name of this card? Constricting Sliver. Let's tap that for four. Five, six, seven, eight. I'll cast a Meteor Golem. Jesus <laughs> fucking Christ, dude. <laughs> Um, that does have a enter the battlefield effect, but we're going to go with the cascade first. Really glad we got rid of the worm and Anik, Thea. All right, so we're going to go ahead and cascade twice. We have an Ugin the Ineffable and a Mindstone. Best hit of the deck. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> cool. So we get that in there. Color of spells I cast cost two less to cast. Let's do this. Um, I'm going to plus Ugin the Spirit Dragon by two to deal three damage to any target. Uh, Hunter, I'm going to hit your commander. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Well, I mean, God, dude, we're just, just we're just horses that have been shot, and he's just. <laughs> um, <laughs> Ugin the Ineffable is gonna minus three to destroy target permanent that is one or more colors. Steven, I'm gonna get rid of your worm thing. Hey, destroy? worm! It is destroyed, dude. Holy shit! The There's something in you my graveyard. Hell yeah, dude! Uh, I'm gonna put lightning greaves on Flare of Loyalties. That is so much damage that you're attacking with. It's twenty Annihilator four at this point with the two. All right, we're gonna go to combat. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, Meteor Golem is going to come in. And here, we're going to do this first before I forget my triggers. Uh, and then Meteor Golem's trigger is going to go off whenever it enters the battlefield, destroy target, non-land permanent, and opponent controls. Yeah? Let me guess. Yeah, it's Teferi. Yeah. There goes card draw. <laughs> I'm going to put the Lightning Greaves on awesome. Slayer of Loyalties, and then I'm going to go to combat. Hmm. That's a lot of damage you got there, friend. That is a lot of damage. And I do say friend as in we're friends, right? <laughs> but I told you you could have it back. I promised that you would. Oh my god, you're gonna smack him in the You can have it back <laughs> like that, dude. Uh, uh, I don't know what to do here, dude. You're just gonna get 77, it back. 77, dude. It's like such a big decisive turn. I could kill somebody here, but do I want to? No, not really. Let's do this. Flare of Loyalties will go at. Hunter, how many cards do you have in your hand? I forgot. I have two cards, dude. Uh, that's a lot of cards. Flare of Loyalties is gonna come at you. <laughs> um. Constricting Sliver will go at Steven, and then Mike Matter and Thought Not Seer will both go at Shane. Shit. Annihilator 2, so um, on attacks, I have to do this, right? Or is on a combat yeah. damage? 
uh, on attacks. And then, Steven, I've got a Annihilator 2 coming at you as well. Uh, two swaps. I'm going to get rid of a Boros Signet and a Mountain. Uh, I am hitting hit for 12 going down to 25. I'm going to get hit for 12 going down to 17. All right. I got hit for 15 down to 62 and 9 Commander. Thanks, Dave. Now you can um, I did also day. realize I should have been gaining life off of the Ugin the Ineffable, the Thought Not, or the uh, Flayer of Loyalties, the Lightning Greaves, the Meteor Golem, the Endbringer, and the Mindstone. It's a lot of life gain. Two life for each of those that comes up to from 13 to 25. Back in this game, boys. You are back, back in the game. game. I don't think you were ever do? not in the game, dude. I don't think I want to end my turn there. Um, can I'm I have gonna, my toy back? I'm going to equip my Lightning Greaves onto the Endbringer. I'm going to tap for two, floating one, and I will sack the Mindstone to draw a card. Cool. So I have one mana currently floating. I will tap the Rogue's Passage for two, and I will tap down the Endbringer uh, to have me draw a card. Draw a card. Cool. Steven, you only have swamps in your graveyard? Uh, I also have a <laughs> Sandworm Convergence. I'm just going to exit your graveyard. I'm going to tap for four. <laughs> I'm going to play a Vessel of Endless Rest and put the Sandworm on the bottom of your library. And then I'll gain two life. Dang. I mean, dude, I I mean, just all the exile and this this shit's just aggressive. It's, it's on the bottom of your library, though, so it's not exile. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can try it again. Uh, I'm going to go to my end step. Uh, Constricting Sliver is going to go back to Shane. And then, Thanks, yeah, David. Pass my turn. At the beginning of Hunter's upkeep, Endbringer will untap. Upkeep, untap, draw. I will play a mountain for turn. Tap for yeah. six. Farewell, everything. Fucking board wipe. You piece of <laughs> shit. <laughs> What a stupid fucking game, dude. <laughs> all creatures, all enchantments, all artifacts, all great. Listen, 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 dude. I, 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 I haven't I haven't done anything to you. <laughs> Let me have my enchantments, please. Nope. It's nope. two enchantments. Nope. <gasps> nope. Everything's exiled. You want you want a two and a half hour oh, long game, you piece of exiled. shit. Exiled. Everything but right. your planeswalkers, David. Um Zulodok is gonna go to my command zone. Yeah. Well, I mean you just shut off all of my mana. <laughs> Actually here, can I respond? I'm gonna respond. Response. God damn it, dude. I just, okay, well, I don't have I'm any sorry. responses. You're I don't right. have any responses there. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm going to tap Vessel of Lilith's Rest for two mana while I can to tap the Endbringer to draw a card. And then my commander is going to go to exile all of my toys. I'm sorry, commander is not going to exile. That's all I can do. You're up, Steven. <laughs> Shut up, dude. <laughs> Untap up, you draw. Oh, sweet. I'll play this tainted field as land for turn. <laughs> you can play and your commander. Then, uh, green, white, black, and then <laughs> one, two. One, two, I believe one and two. Anakthea. Remember, David, you're the reason why we're about to go through this for another 30 minutes. I'm going to cast Anakthea for nine. <laughs> Getting up there with Hunter's record 16. What's up, dog? And uh, <laughs> I'll pass the turn. Okay. Right. Commodore go for 10. Oh, I'm sorry. That's also exiled. On Shane, did you, did you hey, want to. So is your land, pay... by the way, Dave. Did I want a what, bud? My fucking enchantment land. Great. I have five mana. I hope you ping Hunter for three with each of these Ugins, dude. I'm not going to lie. I'm really tempted to kill your commander. My commander? Oh, his commander. <laughs> hey, I just realized something that I don't think it would change anything at all, literally. What'd but let do me do wrong? something real quick. Well, it's just this land I should have cracked a long time ago. It doesn't actually tap for anything. But I would have got a basic land and it would have been completely fine. It wouldn't have it wouldn't have stopped me from playing anything, I promise. So you're passing. Cast your commander. Does I could cast commander? my commander. Yeah, I got, I mean, I got Wooberg plus two, so... But I mean, like, for what reason? I'm just gonna hurt to get yeah. exile, dude. What do you mean? What? You're, you know what? You're right. You're right. Let's let's tap for Wooberg plus the two extra. We'll just play this and pass. Good turn. Good turn. All right. Draw my card. Play my land for turn. I'm gonna play a Tomb of the Spirit Dragon. I'm gonna tap for one and cast an Unstable Obelisk. I will pay zero and play an Ornithopter of Paradise. Oh my. One, two, three, four, five. And you six. thought you were out of this game. I thought I was. I forgot Ugin does things that is helpful. So, Cards in hand? One. Okay. Just curious. <laughs> Why? I uh, I have I have no one? cards in hand. Five you're you're fine. I will cast my commander. Zuladok is back from outer space. So that's where Eldrazi live. Uh let's bring this Ugin. Yeah. Let's get a let's take him up to five and deal three damage to any target. Hunter, you farewelled me, so just hit your face. Ooh, you got me down to twenty two. And then we're gonna take this Ugin up by one. So we're gonna make, we're gonna exile the top card of my library, put a two, two creature onto the battlefield. Whenever that creature dies, exiled card goes back in my hand. I'm just gonna have it represented as putting this creature onto the battlefield. Uh, whenever this thing dies, this card goes back. I would like the viewers at home to know that David was just farewelled. I know it doesn't seem like it because he still has a great board state. You have a good point there, Steven. No, I don't. Board state's awful. I hate yeah, it's so game. bad, so bad. You know, on your end step, David, my last card in hand. 
Your command is getting. Is it a path? <laughs> oh, oh my you know, god! What? I'm gonna be able to find a land off that. Hope you have it. All right, let's go ahead and untap draw and draw another land. We are going to tap for 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Tap. Commodore Guff. <laughs> Jesus. He enters the battlefield. I gain one life. 23. Honestly, at this point, I don't even think it matters. <laughs> we're going to we're gonna minus three him to draw a single card. Such pass. a good ability, dude. <laughs> Such a good ability. That's the end of my turn. Let's up, upkeep, draw move to combat and just let's go ahead and switch which Ugin's the worst here boys probably the big one the other you're one right i'm gonna, big I'm gonna, I'm gonna the, swing it the, the big little... one kills hunter's commander the big one does kill hunter's commander and the little one's at what two yeah he's a two i sense david double blocking here <laughs> that's fine I'll kill them both i don't know if he actually would double block i'm gonna go ahead i mean because like the thing is is that how big is the big Ugin? five five mm. Yeah, I'll swing Anik Thea at the big Ugin. No blocks. Past turn. Hopefully, Shane has an answer for the big Ugin. I tried my best. The cost reduction is aggressive. So, had you attacked the little Ugin, you would have probably just killed it. And my thought here being is, I can still block Shane. Yeah, but my yeah. thing is, you need a plus to get the minus four off of the other one. That is true. And then the other one, I have cards that are little that can still be exiled. So I'd rather the big one be at a lower number rather than anything else. Okay, all right. Because trust me, I was debating on both. Hey, Shane, just remember. Yeah? My Ugin can't kill your sliver. I don't even know what your Ugin does. <laughs> it deals three damage to Hunter's Planeswalker. Oh, okay, That's got what it. actually right. says on the card. It does oh, okay. <laughs> that, but it sucks. <laughs> I'll start my turn. I'll untap, upkeep, draw. That's a really good card, guys. Ooh, see what I drew. Well? Ooh, 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 Shane's the problem. Want to see what I drew? Want to see what I drew? <laughs> Shane, you should you should play it. I'm gonna you... play it. Does it Do have her mana? I'm gonna play it. Ready? Mm -hmm. To land. Comes in tapped. It's nice. <laughs> awesome, dude. I'm gonna tap for four. I'm gonna play Bone Slice Sliver. Double strike. Sliver creatures you control have double strike. Move to combat. I'm gonna declare Grave Mother at David's face. Whoa. I'm, I'm just gonna block with the two two. That's one. Damn it. Well, this card goes in my hand, so thank you, Shane. Hunter, <laughs> you can kill his Planeswalker now. I can't do anything. <laughs> Pass turn. All right. Uh, let's God, you can still like cast your play. goddamn commander, dude. That's nuts. Let's tap for two, and I will play a Perilous Fault. I can pay five mana, tap in, and exile all non-land permanents. <laughs> I'm just going to go ahead and threaten the board <laughs> with that card. The exile dude, effect so is over. so real. I'm so <laughs> over exiles, dude. Um, okay, I'm gonna play my land for the turn. It's a Guildless Commons. It enters the battlefield tapped, and whenever it enters the battlefield, I have to bounce the land back to my hand. That way it will go. Uh, let's do this. I'm gonna plus three. One, two. I'm sorry, just plus two. We're gonna plus two. I'm kind of really afraid of the bone slide, but at the same yeah. time, it just goes into the graveyard for you to bring it back. It's yeah, but true. double strike doesn't go double, double, double. That'd be great. You know, you're right. You're absolutely right. Plus, he would end up getting a copy of Swing at you guys, too. Uh, we're going to kill the Sliver. Deal three damage to it. It's dead. I'm going to plus this other Ugin, Ugin the Ineffable, up by one to make this little creature thingy. Uh, this card is actually an exile. I'm just using this to represent. I pass my turn. Untap and draw. Which land did you draw this time? Uh, I drew uh, planes this time, Steven. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's fucking cool. cool shit, dude. I love it. Tap for one, two, three, four, five, and six. Chandra, Awakened Inferno. We've got someone that came to the party, guys. <laughs> Should spell we destroy it? Spell can't be countered. <laughs> We're going to Spell can't be up. countered? What do you plus mean? Two. mean? Can't be destroyed. No, no, no. You don't want to do the plus two. That'll slowly kill us. That's the one you don't want to do. That's the one I'm doing. Plus two. You guys all get an emblem that says, on your beginning of your upkeep, take a damage. Uh, oh, so David, you... that's way smarter again. You guys get that cool emblem. I can't wait to see it. There we go. Ouch. Plus one damage. So you guys made all your cool emblems. Steven made a Chandra token upside down. Shane, you got the ouch, plus one damage, sad face. And David, I think that's just fire with a face. I, I think it's a hot dog. <laughs> it's either, yeah, it could be hot dog, actually. <laughs> uh, so that's cool. I'm going to tick up Commodore Guff as well to make a wizard token. And then we're going to go to end step, and Commodore Guff is going to give Chandra an additional counter. Oh, I forgot. Because I cast Chandra, I also gained a life. So I'm at 24. That's my turn, Steven. What's up, Upkeep? Draw. <laughs> you take one damage. I take one damage going down to 16. No, I'm going to pay one white. I'm going to path your Ornithopter. Oh, 
Um, I will respond by tapping it for a green, and then it'll die. A green. Okay. I'm not going to move to combat. Which one do we gone. take out? We want the big Ugin gun or the little Ugin gun? Um, I think he's going to kill the little Ugin regardless. So I think the big Ugin. Let's swing four at the big Ugin, David. <sighs> big Ugin is dead. Goodbye, big <laughs> no Ugin. No more fun for you. Uh, and that is it. I will go ahead and pass turn. I'll start my turn, Dave. Uh, Hunter. Ouch. Ouchie. Only 61 I'm at 61. <laughs> <laughs> We're getting them, boys. Yo, how many cars in exile? <laughs> For everybody. 22. 18. I have 20. <laughs> 22. Jesus Christ. Dude. I got 12. It really shows how many lands I've drawn. Uh, I'm going to tap for four, and I'm going to encore out Bone Sight Sliver. All right, we're going to move into combat. Each one of these is going at you guys. Yeah. Yes. And, uh... Decision time. Grave Mother will go at David. <laughs> is okay. That, is that threatening lethal? No. He has a um, I, I will block your commander with this one, and I'll just take four. I'm down to 20. Hunter? I'll take four going down to 20. I will take four going down to 12. Move to end step. Pass. My turn. Oh, my God. If I see my hand, it'll play ways. Ping, 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 ping. Take your hot dog. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll lose one life. I'm down to 22. <laughs> it does look like a little weenie roast. Take your hot dog, dude. Uh, let's plus Ugin. I will put this on the battle. Make a thingy. Can I just pass here? I'm going to pass. All right. I'm going to untap and draw. We're going to tap for four. Yeah, we're going to play Mangara, the diplomat. We're going to tick Chandra up two more times. You guys get double the token, or double the emblems. Woo. And we're going to tick uh, Commodore Guff up once as well. Make another wizard. I'm kind of surprised on that one. And with uh, that, so am I Am I at two or three on the Chandra? Two of them. When he said double, we get double. So am I at two or three? You just two. You're just two. Okay. I'm, just, I'm just adding one. Yeah! That's going to be the end of my turn. Untap, upkeep, and draw. Well, that's something, right? Let's go one, two, and three. Cast an Enchantress's Presence. We'll go one... Actually, just tap this to play a greater Oromancy. Wait, did you take your two damage? I did not take my two damage. I will go down to ten. Uh, on the cast of the greater Oromancy, I'll draw a card. I'm just gonna win because this you game. cast your second spell, I draw a card because of the diplomat. Yeah, I'm just waiting for you to exile everything. Um, I'm gonna wait. <laughs> I know you will. <laughs> Until the second that somebody actually presses the lethal. Start uh, killing each other. I'm going to go ahead and swing Anakthea at your Ugin, David. Um, <laughs> he's gonna make him do it right now. Ugin dies. What? He doesn't want to do it yet. My man doesn't want to do it yet. Green and two. Let's go ahead and cast a Rasta of the Endless Web. I will go ahead and draw a card because it's an enchantment. And then I will thank us for still being here in this game. And I will play a Bountiful Promenade as land for turn. Hey, we're all here. Uh, and that is it. Uh, Rasta, Rasta has reach. It's a 3-5. And if you guys cast an instant or sorcery, because we've been doing a lot of that this game, uh, I'll make a 1-2 spider. Shane? I'll, I'll start my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Hey, Take your 2 damage, dude. Bang, bang. 59. I'm going to tap for 2, and I'm going to cycle this card. Discard, draw a card. Well, that didn't help. I'll play a land for turn. <laughs> I'm going to go to combat. I'm just going to swing at Chandra, I guess. What are you going to do, Hunter? Yes. Uh, I'm Chunk locking with a one one. Yeah, yeah, crazy. I, I got n I had no good attacks, dude. I will pass my turn. Dave is just gonna wait until it's just him. Yeah. And On your end step, Dave's gonna say. Start my turn. Take your two damage, Dave. I will take my two. I will go down to twenty. All right. Lay a land. David, if you want to swing that creature at me, I'll block so you can get it in your hand. It's another waste, so it really doesn't matter. <laughs> I've only hit wastes. It's really cool. I love you guys. Remember me. Mm -hmm. Four wipe again. One, He's gonna... two, three, four, four five, uh, six, God seven. Tap the unstable obelisk. I'm going to sack that destroy Chandra. Chandra is dead. We're not taking three now. Just two. No, we... Oh, yeah, okay. I was about to say. Yeah, we'll still take two. And I will pass my turn. All right. Untap draw. Guess what? What? Play a land for turn. But hmm. we're not going to shock myself. This we're turn for 15. two. And I'm going to play Grateful Apparition. We're going to minus three. <laughs> Take draw one card. We're going to tap for one blue, blue, white. And we're going to play a Narset. Part of Veils. Each opponent Shane, can't draw more than one each turn. Shane, I want to apologize to you. It's okay. I, I accept your apology. I shouldn't. I shouldn't have. I shouldn't have been so upset with you for trying to get David to win. He should have won like an hour ago. Yeah. 
So, because I played Narset, I'm going to gain a life. I'm going to 21. Uh, I'm going to minus Narset. Minus two. We'll go to the top four and get a uh, non creature on land. Deferi, Time Reveler. It's going to go to my uh -oh. hand. I'm going to tap. We're just going to go super wide here to just let David kill us. Uh, tap for that. A white and a blue. And we're going to play Teferi Time Reveler. No more no more instants, guys. <laughs> yeah, you guys can stop pathing my things. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I pathed your card on my fucking up on my turn. <laughs> we are going to minus three Teferi. Ooh. Beep, beep, beep. We're going to bounce something to someone's hand. Uh, we're bouncing one, two, Sliver three, Grave Mother. Oh, shit. And I'm going to draw a card. You're a fun kid. You're a um, fun third, kid. third from the top of the line. Oh, no, that's the different. No, it's bounce. Teferi. You're, you're, right, you're, right, you're, right, you're good. <sighs> we're going to go to end step. We're going to tick up the other Planeswalkers because of Pomodoro Gif. That's my turn. Steven, I want to be keep... with you. It just reminds you, you only have four more turns if Hunter doesn't die. Oh, yeah, you're fine. Don't worry about it, buddy. Untap upkeep draw. I'm gonna going to go ahead and lose two, going down to eight. Uh, I'm going to swing Anakthea over at Narset, and I'm going to swing the Arasta over at Teferi. They both have menace. This is unnecessary, Steven. We'll let Teferi die, because he's at two, and we will double block these guys. Okay. Uh, and that is all I can do. That was cool, Steven. I mean, I can't. I, I drew a fucking land. I'll start my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Hunter. Bang, bang. I'm bang, down bang. to 57. Wow, 57, Guys, Shane. We're getting Shane down. Let's go. We're doing <laughs> this as a team. Shane's the threat, dude. No, the what, what, what? You can't. Where's the, hey, this? where's the 1v3 over here, guys? Come on. Yeah, where, where is that? Yeah, get on 100, guys. Come on. I'm going to play Command Tower for turn. I'll tap for. I'll tap for 7. Play Morphon. That's a good one. I'm going to declare Slivers off Morphon. Really thought you were going to go Dinosaurs. No, I know. It's stupid. Uh, I'm going to cast Sliver Grave Mother for free. On your second spell, I'm going to draw a card. That's cool. Um, that's suspicious. That's all I can do, boys. Sounds Pass. like probably a good time for a board. All right, start my turn. <laughs> Guys, I'm going to play a land. What do you mean? Hey, take one, your two, two damage. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm at 18. You're correct. I'm going to pay one, two, three, four to activate Rogue's Passage, giving my creature unblockable until the end of turn. Go count that. <laughs> Honor's Commander. <laughs> so unnecessary. <laughs> He's just going to blow up the board. It doesn't matter, dude. All right. Uh, he wouldn't have had to do that for fucking for, without blowing up the board. He could have just blown up the board. I don't think he is going to blow up the board. Dude. Yeah, that's why I was like, I don't think he's doing it right now, dude. <laughs> uh, I'm going to untap draw. And we're going to play all will be one. Uh-oh. That's literally an object. We're going to tap for one, two, three, and four. And we're going to play in a Johnny Steadfast. Johnny Steadfast is going to come in with four loyalty counters, which is going to trigger all will be one. Checking. All right. Uh, Shane, take four yeah. damage. You're making me take four damn. Four okay. damn. I'm at 53. How is he taking four? All right. Uh, right. We're going to tick Narset down to doo -doo, to look at the top four. One, two, three, four. We're going to keep Jace. Uh, time for a blue and a blue and another and another to play Jace, the Mind Sculptor. Three damage to you, Shane. No, I'm at 50. Uh, And then we're going to ping up old Johnny. So that's plus one. We're going to give... Mangar, the diplomat. First one plus one link. gains first strike, yeah. vigilance, and life link. Yeah, uh, on the Johnny loyalty counter, Shane, take another one. Dude, leave me alone. I'm at 49. Yeah. <laughs> Trust you right. down here. I'm at 49, this man says. Uh, we are going to go ahead and Jace for zero. We're going to look at the top three and put two back on top. Go to combat. David, take three. I will take three. I go down to 15. I cast Jace and a Johnny, which means I gain two life. Uh, I was at 23, so I'm going to gain three life because I had lifelink. Three, going up to 26. And that is going to be the end of my turn. Third, I will untap up, you can draw. Uh, I'm going to move directly to combat, and I need to get rid of that Narset. Time out. You take two damage. I do take two damage. I will go down to six. I think you need to get rid of just Hunter in general. I mean, I... I could attack. I just need to draw cards. I have one card in hand. It's an enchantment. So I kind of need to do that now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and move to combat. I'm going to go ahead and swing my Arasta at Narset. And we will swing Anakthea at Jace. They look like they're dead, dude. They look that way. In response, I will tap for a white. No way. And I will swords. Hunter's so annoying. <laughs> <laughs> the one that was coming at Narset. Jace is, however, dead. <laughs> You can go get a land. 
Great. It's exiled, by the way. Even better. Erd, well, hopefully Shane can do something. I passed her. I cannot do huh? anything else. I don't know what I can do, brother. I'll start my turn. Untap up you your jaw. You will take two damage. I will. 47. Dude, drawing just straight gas. I'm just drawing gasoline, dude. Gasolina. Put this gasoline sliver hive. That's not the worst card you could have drawn. No. Steven, don't forget, by the way, you gain life. What oh, yeah. Me. Oh. You, what do you mean, how did he gain life? Oh, I actually gave him a land. My bad. Steven, you're not supposed to get a land. You're supposed to gain life. Oh, well. Because it keeps him alive. All right, so character. this is, what, three? I gain toughness or power? You gain equal to toughness. All right, I gain five. Thank you. Return. One, two, three, four, and five. Uh, putting me Sorry, at it's power. God damn Jesus it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> One, two. So I move to combat, and I'm going to swing both of these at Hunter's face. My face? Yeah. That's a 7-7 seven, seven and a 6-6. Six, six. I'll go down to 13. Seven commander. I will pass my turn. On your instep. You're going to do it. Is, this it? Is it time? Is it I time? Mean, I hope not, but Is fuck it, it time? I think it's time. One, two, three, four, five. Tap the Perilous Bolt. Exile all non-land permits. Cool. Exiling. Greater Oromancy gone. Chances of Presence gone. And Anakia gone. Exile, exile. Thanks, my Dave. Turn. It's there my turn. Lose two life. Gone out of 13. Too bad these emblems, you know? Too bad they're there forever. Yeah. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Let's play an Eldrazi Temple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's Mike Commander. Two, and I will play an Investigator's Journal. It enters the battlefield with the number of counters on it equal to the n greatest number of creatures in play. Or the player one. with the greatest number of creatures in play. So, one. <laughs> uh, I can pay two mana to sack and draw a card, or I can pay two mana to remove a counter, which will kill it, and then I'll draw a card. <laughs> Might as well just do that now. It's dead. Draw a card. I'm done. All right. I'm gonna untap turns. draw. What's this do? Dude, I can't even make a sliver now, David, because you killed all my slivers. The Tougher. land is a sliver if I own a sliver. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That sounds like a commander. <laughs> There's Commodore <laughs> Guff. Let's go. Oh, uh, because I cast another Planeswalker, I'm going to gain a life going to 14. And then we're going to go ahead and take him up. Draw a card, dude. Nope. Oh. Gotta protect him just a little bit. Uh, yeah, I gotta take him up, make a wizard. Do a wizard, hey. And uh, yeah, we're gonna pass. All right, untap, upkeep, and draw. I'm gonna going to take two, going down seven. And let's go green, white, black, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> yeah. Is everybody just gonna cast their commander? I mean, Anakthea. <laughs> Nice. And then I will tap for a black, a green, and then one. I will also cast a Nyx Weaver uh, at the beginning of my upkeep, mill two cards. Uh, and that is it. I'll pass turn. Cool. Start turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Lose two. I'll take two. Yep. 45. Almost, almost got you back down to the original 40. <laughs> There's I'm going to play not Scalding Tarn. This game. I'll tap for a Wooberg plus four is a nine. And I'll play Grave Mother. And then I'll. Pay the one life, going to 44, tap my Scalding Tarn, search, pass. All right, kick my turn off. Go down to 11. We're going to play a land. We're going to play a Grey Reach Sanitarium. I like that. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And I will cast an Artisan of Kozilek. Whenever I cast this spell, I can return a target creature card from a graveyard to the battlefield. That's, That's hysterical. Thing. Yeah, they're all in exile. Uh, but I am going to off this one. Well, that is not what I needed. That's one. one. Oh, that's cool. And it looks pretty big. All right, cool. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cast the Desperate Reality first. It says for each opponent, exile up to one target permanent that player controls with an even mana value. You've got to be kidding. Oh, okay. um, and then it has Adamant. It says if at least three colorless mana uh, was going to cast a spell, which it was not. Uh, it's got an, another ability, but whatever. You said even mana cost? Casting it. Yeah. Thank God, dude. Um, well, Commodore Guff's gone. <laughs> yeah, Commodore Guff's is my target for Hunter. <laughs> Uh, how, much cost, how much does it How much? Five? Yeah. Five. And then oh. that little spider's three? Yep. All right, cool. Uh, let's just get rid of the land that tasks are two. Uh, Orshoffs. Got it. Destroy or exile? Um, exile. Oh, of course. <laughs> My bad. Um, Sliver Hive. <laughs> Sick, Hive. dude. Wow. Well, yeah, his commander is, is odd. 
Um, and then Transmogrifier's Wand is going to come in. It enters the battlefield with three counters on it. I can pay one, tap it, remove a counter, and destroy target creature. It's creature's controller creates a 2 4. Go to combat. Yeah. It's got to go. It's got to go, Shane. Four. Tap the Rogue's Passage to give Zuladoc um, unblockable. <laughs> I'm going to die to commander damage, dude. <laughs> Thinking about it. I mean, honestly, Shane's like the target. He's at 40. Hey, shut damage. up, Hunter. You're hurting us for two. It's not gonna kill me. He David said, Shut up, soon. dude. Where are you hurting us? David knows he can kill me next turn. Yeah, Zula Duck is gonna go at Shane. Mm -hmm. Cool. 7 4. Uh, 37 and 7 Commander. I'm at 16 Commander, dude. Stop. What I'm done. Hell? Uh, on tap up, draw. Take two. Oh, wait. Just kidding. <laughs> tap for 1, 2, 3, and 4. We're gonna play a Arena Rector. Excuse me, what? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna tap for. Two, three, four, five, for a an exonerable tide. Or I cast a spell and proliferate. Man, that'd be really Seems cool if you had Planeswalker yeah. out. Yeah. Be. But that's my turn. So, yep. All right. Untap, upkeep. On my upkeep, uh, next Weaver will trigger. Uh, I will mill two cards, so I'll mill one and two. Uh, Utopia, Sprawl, and a Forest. Then I will draw for turn. Take that's, your two, by the way. Yep, I will take two going down to five. And that is actually kind of a funny card to draw. Is it a mass exile board <laughs> yes, oh, it's a well. God, dude. No, it's not. I don't I don't have that card in my deck. Good idea. White, green, we'll play a Sterling Grove. Yeah, we'll go one, two, one, two, three, four, five, and six. Hey, guess what's back, guys? No Jeez. worms. <laughs> the worms. Uh, I'm going to make a worm. The end of your turn? Yeah, you're ending your turn. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really want to attack, um, because there's really no point. I don't feel like Annihilator 2 over there, 10-9. <laughs> like, David's over here like, mm, God, this position's so nice. <laughs> Shane's got to find a way to kill that. Great. Untap up, heap, draw. Take two. Yeah. 35. Does the emblems go away if I die? I don't think they do, because I'm Why giving them I? to you. I don't think the emblems go away. It stays really? with him for the rest of the game. I'm almost 100% sure. I'm going to pay a blue and three more, so four in total. And I'm going to play Shifting oh, Sliver. Oh, shit. That's so shifty. So I'm going to go to combat. Ooh, he's going to swing it. And I'm going to swing this at David. <laughs> that is very hurtful. Uh, shifting Sliver, it's not working on Moxville. That's the one that I can't block. Can't right? block. Yeah, can't, can't block. block. Yeah. All right, cool. Well, I can't block, so look at to take six. That's six, Commander. One, two, Don't three, know four, if that matters. Five, six. No, that's only six commander. And First time you hit him? Shame. I guess I only hit him. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think he blocked uh, it last time. I think, time. yeah, you swung at him before, but he blocked it. Um. Well, I think I'm dead next turn, boys. But I think David's going to die soon to the emblem. <laughs> so I think Hunter might win this fucking game. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Christ. think I am, dude. <laughs> so I'm going to pass and see what David can do. Yeah, I'm going to drop my courage. I'm going to play a waste. That's not a waste. I'm going to tap for two. This might be a mistake. What would yeah. you like to exile this time? Oh, wait, did you take your two damage, by the way? Take your two. Oh, I'm sorry. I take my two. I'm down to three. Tap Getting them there, Hunter. <laughs> Got him. We got to live life on the edge. I'm going to tap for two. I'm going to tap Gyre Reef, or Gyre Reef Sanitarium. Everybody, please, draw a card and discard a card. You're a dick. So I'm going to draw the card and then just discard it immediately. <laughs> draw. Oh, draw look, the there goes Sundial of the Infinite. Sick. There's a waste. I am uh, only drawing lands. Me too. <laughs> I drew a Blaine's. Uh, I had no cards in hand, so I'll draw it yeah. and discard it. And so did I, bud. Let's do one, two, and three. Play a Skittering Cicada. Ooh. Uh, it's a two-two with Flash. I can cast other colorless spells with Flash, or I'm sorry, as if they had Flash. And then uh, whenever I cast a colorless spell until end of turn, he gets plus X plus X, where X was that spell's meta value. I'm gonna tap for one. I'm gonna remove a counter here to tap this down. And Shane, I'm gonna destroy your commander. You can create a two-four Ox creature token. We're gonna keep you alive. <laughs> Are you passing? No, I think I'm gonna probably just aim to kill you. you the emblems are still there. I know. So what does killing me do? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what does killing you not do is the question. One, two, three, four. Taps Rogue's Passage. You like the ox that I made? I love Ooh, the ox. Let me see it. Made. I haven't seen it. Hold on. Oh, shit. Is that its horns or a mustache? It's a really cool ox. Uh, I don't know, actually. Fuck it. We're going to do this. Uh, I'm going to give the unblockable to the Artisan of Kozilek. Heard. Go to combat. Yeah. Um, Artisan of Kozilek will go at Hunter. Zuladok will go at Shane. Artisan of Kozilek has Annihilator 2. Okay. I will get rid of the Inex Honorable Tide. 
and my arena rector. You can do lands. You could, I know, you're right. But okay. arena rector says, when arena rector dies, I can search my library for a planeswalker and put it on the battlefield. Is your guy getting a bump up to his butt, David? Nope. I'm going to double block. All right. You made me kill my cool ox that I made. I know. I shouldn't have I given you the ox. I was, I was deciding on what to do. That was a misplay. Originally, I gave the ox with the intention of doing something else, but... Ugin the Spirit Dragon comes on the field. Where'd you get that? Holy moly. And I'm gonna take, uh, how much? Ten? Ten. Take ten. Fucking god, dude. We can't get rid of Not this goddamn th exiling <laughs> shit, man. This is fucking mind-blowing. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. I passed my turn. Where did you get Ugin? <laughs> he killed Arena Rector. Arena Rector says That's go and get crazy. a Planeswalker put on the bathroom. Uh, Holy moly. Actually, you killed Arena Rector. I'm gonna untap draw. On, on your draw, Hunter, if I could do something. All right. Yeah, do it. I am going to pay two mana to tap the Tomb of the Spirit Dragon to gain one life for each colorless creature I control. I have two. I will gain two life. Go five. <laughs> He's got an extra turn. Oh, instead, oh, instead of pinging him for three. <laughs> I'm trying one, to two, give him a choice three, for things to do with four, him. Again. And I will play anything. It's hysterical, David. Oh, yeah, you can kill David on his upkeep. Chain Veil. Uh, I will tap. I will plus Ugin for two and do three damage to David's face. One, two, three. I'm surprised you're doing this. And I'm I will shocked tap you're one, not. Two, three, and four. And tap the chain veil. I will activate Ugin plus two to do three damage to Steven's face. Oh my god. I will tap four. It's going one, down to two, two. And three. And I will play a Mila, Crafty Companion. And I will pass my turn. Untap. Upkeep. I guess let me untap all these. Uh, upkeep, I'll mill two. That's a. And the planes. Did you these take your good. two? Is that on upkeep or is that on? Each opponent gains an emblem at the beginning of your upkeep. Yep. You just right. die. I can respond to the trigger though, right? <laughs> yeah. Sure. Trigger on the stack. Okay. I'm just trying to see if I can. I can't bring this back to my hand to gain two. You're dead. Yeah, I'm very dead. I think what I will do is I'm going to pay a green, one, and another one. Yeah, green, black, and one. I'm going to exile the Nyx Weaver. Return target card from a graveyard to my hand. So I'm going to exile this, and I'm going to go ahead and grab Path to Exile. I'm going to put that in my hand. I'm going to pay a white, and I'm going to go ahead and exile your is, the, the Mila. Exile target creature. Uh, okay. Bye, Mila. Mila is gone. I will go and get a land. And then I will take the two and die. Bye. Bye, Steven. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I'll start my yeah, turn. I wanted to try and at least help the boys out as much as possible there. <laughs> take your on two, tap, sure. upkeep, draw. Taking my two, 33. Let's pay for Wooberg. I'll play Sliver Legion. And that's it, I guess. Go ahead, David, die. All right. Does. What did you use? My turn. Life Blaster. Untap, upkeep. I'll have this trigger on the stack. I will pay two. I will tap this Tomb of the Spirit Dragon and gain one life for each colorless creature I control. Yeah. I will gain so two I life. I will I'm lose dead. two life. He just gave the I'm game to Shane. Fucking killing Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? Wow. Uh, uh, See, Steven, I don't know what to tell you. Oh my god, this is insane. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, six. I will cast a Dreamstone Hedron, which will give Skittering Cicada plus six plus six until end of turn. So let's do three. Yeah, but only on one person. He's killing me. And I will tap the Rogue's Passage for the Skittering Cicada to give it unblockable. Go to combat! Skittering Cicada will go at Hunter, and Artisan of Kozilek will go at Shane. You're so annoying. I have nothing to do. I'm dead. Uh, on attacks, I have to, yep. Is it two? Annihilator two. I'm going to sacrifice these two lands. No blocks. Take 10. Take 10. Go to 23. Um, okay. I will tap one, and I will tap the... David one. wins. And uh, Shane, I'll kill your Legion, and you get an Ox. Two one. Oh, I got it. 2 4. It's a 2 4. Oh, it was a 2 4? I think David, or Shane still wins. Yeah, Shane still wins this game. Yeah. Did you just really let me kill you with an ox? I can't fucking. I can't do anything here, dude. I'm going to redraw my ox real quick. You should. Got my 2 4. Alrighty. Pass my, my turn. turn? Uh, lose okay. Two. I'll, yeah, I'll stop my turn. On top of you draw, lose 2. 21. I'm going to tap for 7. Two blacker in there. I'm going to play Kindred Dominance. I'm going to name Sliver. I'm going to destroy everything that's not Sliver, David. He's going to have me die to my emblem at the beginning of my turn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, pass my turn, David. I guess, in a way, Hunter, you killed me and David. All right, Go ahead, Dave. 
Um, untap, upkeep. Take two. I will pay two. I will tap the sanitarium. Each player draws a card and discards a card. Okay. I just discarded a land. Discard that. You got anything, you got anything with Flash, buddy? One. No way, dude. No, you didn't get a real card, He's dude. He's a lion sack of shit. Three. You got With the burn damage still on the stack. I'm going to tap the green stone hard drive. Yeah, yeah draw three Hard cards. drive? But yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not hard drive now. I die. <laughs> Hunter, you killed Take everyone, two. dude. <laughs> yeah, the emblems, they ended up working. Except dude, slivers, so slivers for the win, guys. <laughs> yep. Uh, the life gain sliver for the win, buddy. Yeah. The what? The life, the life gain, gain oh, sliver right, for the win. 84. That was nuts. Congratulations, Shane. You took the victory for our $300 pre-con battle. That is the Commander decks from Commander Masters. Let's go around the table, talk about how our decks performed. Let's start with you, Shane. You won. What'd you think? Uh, that was not a fun game to play. <laughs> I had 23 cards in my exile. I had no slivers in my graveyard. That was so painful, dude. Like, I, I did a couple things that were fun, but overall, your guys' removal with all exile, like, just completely shut this deck down. And I think that's, once again, from the 100, a huge downfall for any kind of, like, graveyard shenanigans. If there's nothing in your graveyard, you're kind of screwed. So, it was a fun deck, but I got I got wrecked, even though I won. David, second place, Uladoc. Went off um, a couple I'm, times there. Yeah, I, I think I did actually misplay a couple times over the course of the game. I did have the temple in play, and I didn't tap it. I don't know if it actually matters in the end. I will say that the one downside is that I never got to see all this dust, and I, that probably would have helped me out over the course of the game. There was not enough mass exile effects. So that would have been really cool to have seen. <laughs> yeah, speaking of mass exile effects, that's kind of what I just put in my deck just because I'm a Planeswalker deck, and it turned out to work really well, especially against Steven and Shane with the graveyard lovers. Uh but yeah, the planeswalkers they went off. Almost won there. Bummed that David had a life gain engine. Probably should have doubled Ugin on David, but probably would have died to Steven, so I guess it doesn't matter. Yeah, I think planeswalkers, that was fun. Steven, what did you think? Well you would have like I would have won the game if you didn't if you if you didn't ping me for three, you would have all died. That's for sure. Uh, I this deck is fantastic. I love Anakthea. I do think it is probably the strongest out of the four. Mm -hmm. uh, in my in my honest opinion, I mean, really, the only thing that stopped me from continuously popping off over and over and over again was the mass exile effects. If those weren't there from the three other decks, really, I, I, this deck would have steamrolled everybody. Yeah. But that is going to do it for us today. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Leave a comment down below. Did you stick it to the end? Did you watch this entire video? It is a long one. A long gameplay. It was a lot of fun, though. Uh, comment. Let's let us know what you think of the decks as well. Also, in the description, you'll find links to our Instagram, our TikTok, and our Twitter. That is at guys that magic for each one. Follow us on those to keep up to date with everything else that we got going on. And until the next video, hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Peace. Later. Bye. Bye-bye.